Coming up next, why isn't government spending to revive the economy getting more respect on Wall Street? Bill Smead explains on Bulls and Bears. Bill Smead is founder and CEO of Smead Capital Management and portfolio manager of the Smead Value Fund. He joins us each week to put the stock market in perspective for Northwest investors. Thank you for being on the program, mm -hmm. Bill. Mm -hmm. I got to start by asking you about the stimulus package. Right. President Obama is putting nearly $800 billion into the economy, which sounds like a huge sum of money. Mm -hmm. And yet the markets are not responding, at least the way that he's hoping, not yet anyway. What, what's going on, do you think? I think you have two camps of people out there on the stimulus. Uh, and I, I think economists that I admire on both sides uh, ha have views. One view is that these are one to three year time frame processes and projects and even the the tax cuts that are are, are uh, retroactive to January 1 it takes time to get that money into people's hands it takes time to to uh, uh, get the get the, the the bureaucracies up and running to, to make those new new programs work and so it's it's a positive it's designed to fill a gap in demand the, the economists that I admire on the other side that are, are saying it was way too light on incentives for good behaviors. And, and uh, really, we just came through an era where people borrowed too much and spent too much. Is the solution to that going to get people to borrow and spend? Right. A and, and so, uh, the, you know, the, 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 uh, a good logic I, I read this last week was that uh, why don't we put more incentives for people to clean up their act and save and 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 uh, maybe invest wisely and uh, so it, it, there's a lot of debate and therefore since there's a lot of debate and uncertainty it, it certainly doesn't become a positive until later on when it when the evidence of its positive effects start to show in fact I've been hearing that there are a lot of academic um, economists especially those on the libertarian bent who are saying more government spending is not going to help that it didn't yeah. help solve Japan's um, lost decade problem in the 1990s mm -hmm. and may not have pulled us out of the Great Depression right. in the 1930s and it's not going to help this time. Yeah, I, I, what I, do you think? I got sent one humorous email uh, uh, joke where they described uh, uh, economic stimulus as taking water out of the deep end of the pool and pouring it into the shallow <laughs> end to try to get the, the shallow end deeper. Do you agree with that? Uh, to a certain extent, but this is a psychological trauma and psychological traumas when you when you're in government and you're trying to solve a problem you're going to try whatever means you have at your disposal and uh, and so since it's a, a a credit crisis and a psychological trauma and a a very fast readjustment uh, it, it's one of the policy moves you can make, and and it, I would, if I were president of the United States, I'd probably be trying to do something similar. But he's making it sound like we got to do something now, as if there should be an immediate effect, and it, and yet you're saying no one is really expecting it to be one. Yeah, his his rhetoric and President Bush's rhetoric isn't helpful. It's the rhetoric they use to get the congressmen and women to do what they want them to do, but uh, to say if you don't do this, we're going to heck in a handbasket is not an effective way to reestablish confidence in a, in a, in a psychologically frail uh, circumstance. So what, what I would like to see uh, done is I would like to see the positives out there talked up constantly. That's, that's what you need. You mm -hmm. Just tell people, look, even though things are terrible, 95% of everything that normally goes on is going on. You know, do the things that you should do. That, that make sure you're getting all your necessities in, and and just think in terms of uh, not being. There, there's kind of a selfishness associated with protecting yourself in this environment, and it's natural. I'm not saying it. it, it it's. Sure. It, it, I'm not criticizing people, but there's kind of a natural selfishness that goes on here that that says, okay, well, I got to protect me. I, I really don't care what happens to everybody else, and and, and he he needs to move us away from that. I know you are very bullish on the market, mm -hmm. and if we're looking five years down the line, mm -hmm. you know, I think more people would be optimistic, right. but what about those people who are worried about the next five months or even the next five weeks? Right. Well, th th the answer to that is that, let let's say uh, in, the, in the market the last year, you, you got driven out temporarily, and you moved most or, or all of your money that you used to have or usually have in stocks into cash, and you're watching what's going on, you're trying to think, well, wh what am I going to do? They're certainly not going to ring a bell and tell me to get back in. What am I going to do? Well, the, the smart thing to do is to dollar cost average. Uh, 
say, I'm going to put my money back in equal amounts over the next 12 months into a good quality portfolio and work their way back. And then if prices go lower, you're happy either way. Got it. All right. Thank you, Bill. Okay, thank See you, you next time. Yeah.